me play devil's advocate a little bit about Jimmy G. Um, you look at a general manager's job. A general manager's job is to put the best, uh, you know, 53 man roster together on an NFL team. You look at Bob Myers for the Warriors. He's supposed to put the, the best 12 to 15 guys on a basketball team. You look at, um, you know, uh, Farhan, Farhan for the San Francisco Giants. General manager, he's supposed to put the best, you know, 25 guys on the major league roster. If now John Lynch, if that's his job, why wouldn't he have Jimmy G be the backup quarterback for this team? Um, because we know Jimmy G is better than Sudfeld. Uh, we know Jimmy G is better than Brock Purdy. If that's John Lynch's job to put the best 53 man roster together, why not keep Jimmy G as the backup? W- what do you say to that? I mean, it, that makes sense, right? If you're trying to build the best roster for this season, then you keep Jimmy Garoppolo because he's obviously would be the best backup in the NFL. Yeah. But it's also John Lynch's job to make sure they're fiscally responsible so that way they're able to put together the best roster in 2023, 2024, 2025, and being able to keep Nick Bosa, maybe Dre Greenlaw, you know, uh, Mike McGlinchey. These guys are going to be coming up and available uh, on free agency, you have to be able to bring those guys back. And Jimmy Garoppolo's money would definitely go to help you be able to do that. You could automatically front load some of these contracts. So uh, you want to make sure you have at least five to six million dollars in operating costs. The 49ers have already eaten some of that up, you know, by making some of the moves that they've made. So Debo Samuel extension used an extra like one and a half million dollars off of that. So they have about four million dollars left. I think they still plan on moving on from Jimmy Garoppolo. But you're right. I mean, if you're just talking about putting together the best 53-man roster, it would mean Jimmy Garoppolo is the backup quarterback. I just don't think anyone really wants to pay Jimmy Garoppolo $27 million, you know, to potentially stand there and just uh, listen to the headset on the sideline. No, that's a very, very good point. Um, I don't see Jimmy G taking a pay cut to stay with this team. I mean, if, if let, let's all, you know, take it and put yourself in the Jimmy G shoes, right? Would you want to be with the 49ers at this point? I mean, I know they paid you handsomely. You know, you're a rich man, but, you know, they drafted your replacement. They basically said, hey, you're not good enough. That's why we have Trey Lance here. I don't think Jimmy G wants to be there. I wouldn't want to be there if I was Jimmy G. Let's just be real. Uh, But, you know, he hasn't asked for his release yet, which is, I I don't know why. Or Well, I guess because if he gets traded, he'll get the full amount of money, right? If, yeah, if for he, the most yeah. part, I mean, yeah, yeah, he he would get it all unless they came to some sort of agreement, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna have to take a pay cut to go to any team that he goes to in trade. No one's gonna want to take on that full twenty seven million dollar uh, contract um, unless unless the Forty ers do what Cleveland Browns did with Baker Mayfield. I think the Browns paid uh, ten million dollars of his sixteen million dollar salary owed. The Forty ers could do that, but I don't think that would be in the best interest of the Forty ers to do that. I think you might as well just outright cut him because the compensation you'll get in return, even if it, I mean, let's be real, Niners not going to get a second or third round pick for Jimmy no. G. Maybe maybe a fourth or fifth, but is that really worth? Let's just say ten million dollars in return. Like I I don't think uh, that would be worth it, but. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate what Jimmy G has done for this team, um, and especially under Kyle Shanahan. I mean, before Jimmy G, there were there were some lean years with with uh, Chip Kelly and Tom Sula, um, and hey, Jimmy G made us relevant when we were when he was healthy. Let's be real; um, he ha- he did make us relevant. I appreciate what he's done for this team, but obviously, Trey Lance, the Trey Lance era is underway. Uh, and it's it's basically we're just counting down the days until Jimmy G is either traded or or released.